everyone and welcome to my channel. For all of you who came here from Daisy and Mixtapes, thank you so much. I'm super excited about this video because it's a collab with my new gorgeous friends here on YouTube, Katie and Kayla. So I did three holiday hair looks and they did a holiday lookbook on their channel. Definitely go over there and check them out. Links to their channel and social media will be in the down bar, so let's get started. The first look we have is a pretty formal look, but I love this side swept hair look. So we're first going to section our hair into a pretty deep part and then section it from the part over to the back ear. Sorry for being out of frame on this. I didn't realize how bad it was until I started editing it. So we're going to clip up that the bigger section and we're going to work with the smaller one first. So we're going to brush this out and we are going to twist it. So this hairstyle will work good if you have short hair. I used to do it whenever I had really bad short layery hair and I usually I just twist and pin every little section but continuing the twist so that it really holds in any small layers you might have. I'm just going to keep on doing this all the way to the back until you get all, all or most of that hair that is down. So now you're going to release down the rest of the hair and give it a quick little brush out and then section it off for curling. I am going to be using my Conair Infinity Curling Wand. I love this. I've had it for years and my hair really holds the curl when I use this. So we're going to just start by skipping, getting a little section and curling it away from my face. So to be honest, I don't really pay attention to the size of the sections, how long I hold it, how I wrap the hair. The only thing I pay attention to is wrapping it away from my face. Now once you're done one layer, flick it behind your shoulder and move on to the next one. This hairstyle honestly takes me like 15 minutes to do. It is pretty quick and easy and I love doing it. It looks super nice and glam. So like I said, we're just going to continue curling away from the face because that is the most important part of this. And now when you get on to the top section, you're going to finish the last curl. Be careful not to burn yourself if you have the glove, wear the glove. But you're going to take all the hair and flip it over to the other side for it to cool. Now we're not going to touch the hair until it is cool, so we're just going to sit and wait. Now we're going to flip the hair over to the other side and then we are going to give it a little spritz of hairspray and then finger comb. Now the hair might get a little fluffy when you do this but we are going to fix it. So just finger comb the hair to loosen up the curls a little bit. And now we are going to gather it all together and all twists going away from the face. This is why it's so important to make sure all the curls go in the same direction away from the face. Once you do this, you're going to spray it with some hairspray and then let it go. It gives you this nice, like, wavy, curly look. I really, really like it and I think it looks super glam. look is perfect for a more casual festive night. So first we're going to start off with my Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder. This is my favorite stuff ever. We're sprinkling it all over the hair and all down the hair shaft and we're going to rub it in really good. Gives lots of good texture to my really silky hair. So now I'm going to section my hair into three pieces. This front section which goes from my part to about behind my ear and then we're going to split my hair from ear to ear and I'm going to take those sections and pin them out of the way for now after I brush them out as well. So now we're going to brush out this front section. My hair's a little staticky today but we're going to go with it and we're going to braid this section. So there's lots of tutorials on YouTube on how to like French braid your hair. Um, this hair style will look perfect with people with bangs too if you want your bangs out of the way or you can leave your bangs out. So you're just going to braid, braid, braid and then you're going to massage the sections to try to get some more volume. I have a really difficult time getting good volume in my braids but that's what you're going to do. And you're going to braid it 
as far down to make sure it can go back into the ponytails in the back. So now I'm just taking those sections on my back and I'm putting them up in little baby elastics. Try to make sure you get them as close together as you can. So this one I put kind of low and I had to go back and fix it later to be closer to the part. And I put the braided section in that as well. And now I'm going and putting the top section in the elastic as well. If you want your hair to have some volume at like the crown, you can definitely tease it and give it some volume. I didn't for this look. Um, It would look good with it. And I probably should have done it, but just slipped my mind. So I'm putting that in an elastic as well. Okay, so there are the two ponytails. Braid goes into the lower one. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it and make a knot around itself and then you're going to put it over the elastic. Now there is, I have a pretty long hair, tail because I have long hair. If you have short hair you might only be able to do this once. But we're going to bobby pin that knot apart around and we're going to make another knot. And we are going to pin that to the head as well. And. I am going to get rid of that little tail the best I can. I was doing this without a mirror. Obviously, you'd be able to play with it better. So I ended up adjusting the lower ponytail up higher, but I'm doing the same thing as before. I'm making the knot and pinning it around the ponytail, and I'm going to be making a second knot because my hair is so long. Sorry this is a little out of view, but yeah. is a high cotton candy bun because, well, it kind of looks like cotton candy. This look is perfect for any Christmas event you might have to attend but may not have a lot of time to get ready, like a gift exchange one evening after school or work. So let's get into the tutorial. Here I have third day hair and I'm taking my Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder. This is equal parts dry shampoo, style extender, and volumizer. Using your favorite dry shampoo will work to do this hairstyle, but since I have naturally straight and silky hair, this really gives my hair the extra grip it needs for this hair to do. I'm also flipping my hair over and applying this to the nape of my neck because it is such a high bun you want to make sure that all parts of your hair look fresh. I'm also sprinkling some of this down my shaft to give it extra grip for later. Make sure you really rub this in so there's no patches of powder. Now I am flipping over my hair so I can get the highest ponytail possible. I'm also using a teasing brush to help smooth down any hair. This is also the time where you can add any volume to the crown or take down any face framing pieces that you like. So just smooth out your hair and add a little hairspray. Now with the teasing brush, I'm going to take sections of my ponytail and tease. Even though I have long hair, I don't have a lot of it and I need to tease it to get this look. If you have thick, coarse hair, you could probably skip this step. The hair donut is a step you can skip if you still have thick hair. So I'm just going to spread the hair all over the hair donut and then I'm going to wrap it around. Because my hair is teased, it gives it kind of a cotton candy type look. I'm sticking another elastic around this and just fluffing it up and adjusting it as so. I'm also going to take that teasing comb and smooth over it and I'm going to finish it off with some hairspray. You could also put a bow in the back which I do quite often to complete the look. forget to head over and check out Daisy and Mixtapes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. And I got the Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited. I want